Here's a wrap of the top stories from the morning newspapers. The Indian Express has reported that the Delhi police will probe claims that two students of Jamia Millia Islamia suffered bullet wounds during Sunday's agitation. Report quoting Safta Jung Hospital sources said that two students were brought in with bullet wounds on the chest and leg. Police have officially denied firing and have said that they would investigate. The difference between the maximum and minimum temperatures in Delhi narrowed to less than 3 degrees Celsius on Monday, Hindustan Times reported. The IMD has classified the day as the coldest December day in the last 16 years. The IMD has also issued a cold day warning in Delhi for Tuesday and Wednesday, which means the day temperature will be at least 4.4 degrees Celsius below normal. The Times of India has reported that the centre has begun consultations with India's top 25 corporate houses and lenders to assess their investment plans. The government is talking to the Tatas, Reliance, Pirla, Mahindra, Adani's, Infosys and Wipro, among others, to boost investment. It will also try and resolve issues that the corporates may be facing in their bid to expand operations. Business paper Mint has reported that India's largest vehicle maker Tata Motors Limited is in initial talks with a couple of Chinese automobile companies for a tie-up for its passenger vehicles business. These companies may either invest directly in Tata Motors or form a joint venture.